All right, boys, disclaimer, making a public service announcement. Prioritize your mental health, honestly. I don't know how many men need to hear this. I don't know how many men speak about this, but shit, bro, it's true. It is very true. Prioritize your mental health. If you don't have, you know, the if you have brain fog, if you have anxiety, if you have depression, if you're just confused and just lost in life, why the hell would anyone ever follow you? Why would you be the leader who you're trying to be? Why? How are you going to get anywhere you want to get to? How are you going to become a millionaire? How are you going to inspire others and lead a family and be a father and be a role? model in this community if your mental health is not where it should be if you're if you're not healthy mentally now let's break this down what are certain things that can get in the way of your goals right mentally number one is definitely stress stress or like being burnt out and it's funny that i speak about mental health because a lot of my videos are like they're this very like this motivational like you know hey man you gotta get keep it going get your shit together you know like get it done and the the result of that and me and other people the result of that is we overwork ourselves we just work so much and we burn ourselves out but it's important for us to understand that maybe we should take a you know step back take a little deep breath and be like okay there are certain things that can actually stress us out there are certain times where we need rest there are certain times where we need to just not do anything stop overstimulating yourself then do nothing there are certain times where i just drive my car and i don't even listen to any music or nothing no quran no nothing no lecture nothing no podcast i just drive because i'm just so like tired of thinking things and and stimulate like things that stimulate me or focusing on something i just want to have my mind free and just de-stress just decompress for a while that's what we all should do because stress can build up over time it can get us to a point to where just so stressed out we can't even think correctly I, how are you gonna ask me for advice when i'm just like burnt out like my brain isn't even functioning the way it should be my mental health isn't there like i'm, I'm just like i'm stressed bro i'm anxious another one is anxiety that's a big one that's the one I, I, a lot of people suffer with i suffer with that as well i'm always anxious i'm always worrying about things you know how how am i gonna help you how am i gonna lead you like how am i gonna be a father to a, a kid when and that kid comes and asks me what, what what should we do dad and i'm like i don't know bro like i'm I'm like worried right now. Like I'm, I'm scared. How am I going to help this kid be fearless when I'm not fearless? How am I going to help you lead and become the man that you should be when I'm worried about my own life? And my kid will fear that. My kid will my kid will sense that in me. Yo, this my, my dad's scared. My dad's anxious. He's not thinking clearly. He doesn't have the right mindset right now. He's all over the place. How am I going to treat my wife if I'm always stressed out and anxious? just always worried how is my wife going to rely on me how is she going to look at me as as protection you know as a man we want to kind of want to protect our woman how am i going to protect my woman if i'm anxious all the time why would she trust me why would she look at me look for me why would she try to find comfort and security in me and protection when i can't even give that to myself how am i going to give it to someone else i'm not comfortable i'm not secure i don't have the protection that i think i have i can't even protect myself bro i'm going to protect the whole woman when shit hits the fan how am i going to come to you and tell you everything's going to be okay when she can sense it in me that this guy he, he doesn't think that everything's going to be okay but he's just telling me just to bullshit me she can sense that they're not stupid they know you that's why it's important that's why mental health matters and then you got depression i'm sad as hell i can't think correctly i don't care about anything a lot of people think depression is just you being sad and i'm actually gonna make another video about this how depression like is, is a big blessing in my life people think it's just like uh being overly sad it is but it's also like this feeling of just like giving up i've been there so i kind of know and a lot of people i feel like a lot of people have nowadays like, it's just a feeling of giving up like i don't care anymore i don't give a damn you know like i'm just so sad but it's not just sadness it's an overwhelming sadness but it's also like just fuck everything bro i don't care it doesn't matter that's kind of what depression is honestly <laughs> and it's like if i have that as a man how am i going to lead people same thing same scenario what if my kid needs help and i just don't give a damn i don't care but if my wife wants me to do better and i'm just like i don't care like i don't care about anything i'm just done i'm depressed i'm done with everything nothing matters to me nothing gives me satisfaction nothing gives me joy life in itself is just empty there's just nothing there's no good for me in life that's kind of what depression is right i'm thinking that way what can i do what where am i going to get to and don't get me wrong i'm not making Making fun of people who think this way. I'm not being fun of people who have mental health issues. I have had mental health issues. I have them currently. We all do. We all get stressed out. We all get anxious. We all get a little depressed and sad or whatever. So I'm not making fun of you. I'm, I'm just highlighting how important it is that like don't think that you can just live your life and not worry about that. Or not care for that. Not care for your mental health. Like really prioritize it. And by prioritize, like why do we choose that word? Why did I choose that word? Prioritize. That means like put that at the top of your list, bro. Honestly, you go to the gym, you care about that. Care about your mental health too. Honestly, we're like really please do it won't just help you it'll help everyone it'll help everyone around you one time i was uh meditating the i was using the headspace app and it's a, it's a way to you know it's a guided meditation and the guide in the middle of the the meditation he was like think about who this is going to impact how this is going to positively impact others around you and i thought about that i'm like oh damn like you know mental health is not just for me it's for everyone else around me as well like i said my kids my wife my brothers my sisters my family they all need me i need them i need them to be you know healthy 
mentally the same way they want me to be that as well. If a person is not there, man or woman, but if a person is not there, like they're not who they really are. They're not the true version of themselves. They're not living life the way they should be. People just get angry out of nowhere all of a sudden. That wasn't you. And I know that wasn't you. And it hurt me. It hurt me when you, when you yelled at me a certain way or whatever. But I know that wasn't you. And I'm gonna let it go because my mental health is better than yours. But you need to get your mental health straight too. You need to prioritize that because this is gonna keep happening. Like what is it that got you so down? What is it that has you so anxious and depressed and sad? What is it? So stressed out. Why are you so burnt out? Maybe take a day off. Maybe our society, people are trying to, you know, make it a more of a bigger deal. But like I'm 26, so I've never really seen like ever since I've been like, you know, a kid. And so I've never really seen this being pushed out that way. Like our society doesn't really consider it something important. If I tell someone I'm, I'm going to take a week off just to just just fucking chill, like I just need a week off of life. I'm like, what you doing? You a little you a little bitch or something? What are you doing? I need some time off. I need to go travel. Travel? Are you rich? That's where you're going to go travel? You ain't, you ain't rich. You're not rich yet. Why are you traveling? Why are you spending time traveling? You ain't got time to waste. It's funny I say this because I've, I've said this in my videos before. Like, hey, you don't have time to waste. And it's true, but we also need to have a balance that, okay, I need to prioritize my mental health, bro. If I'm not there mentally, I just can't do it. There's some days in the past where I didn't even go to work and not because I didn't feel good physically. I didn't feel good mentally. I just didn't have the, the mental energy. I was just so drained. I couldn't go to work. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't talk to people. Couldn't sell stuff. I just couldn't do it. I don't have it. People think being sick is just physically not. It's, it's also mentally. If I don't have it, I can't, I can't do anything. So that's why I make this video because we need to highlight this. I want to highlight this. You know, I want other people to highlight this. I want other people to talk about this. Like, how are you mentally, bro? And it's not weak to talk about that. It's not weak to, I know a lot of men don't like to share their feelings and you don't have to necessarily share your feelings to me, but like you can, you know, do some introspection on yourself and think, how am I doing mentally? Because once you change that, like I've, ch I've changed it. I have, I'm going to make another video about depression, but I have, I've, I've changed it. Like, well, not me, but like it, it's changed for me. And when I say not me, I don't want to take the, the credit for it, but you know, my life has changed. It really has. It really went from like me being at the worst mental state I could ever be at. And now I'm at like the top. I'm, I'm at the high of the high. Like life feels so good. I have so much joy, so grateful, so many opportunities. Like it just opens up a whole nother world. Nothing changed physically. I'm the same person. I still live in the same area. I still got the same friends. Nothing really even changed financially to that level, but it's all mentally. It all starts in your head. Ideas start in your head. Success starts in your head. If I'm not successful inside, if I'm not who I want to be inside, it ain't gonna come out and manifest into reality. It all comes from within you. Everything comes from within you. So take care of what's within you and what's gonna come out is gonna be of something that you can't even imagine. Something beautiful, hopefully, God willing.